Hi, I'm Zachary Tomo, Regional Sales Manager with Kawasaki Robotics. Today, we're going to go back in time a little bit and talk about the Kawasaki Unimate. So back in 1968, Japan was experiencing a pretty rough labor shortage. Well, we got together with Jonathan Engelberger, who you might know as the father of modern robotics, and we produced the Kawasaki Unimate. Now, this is a hydraulically driven four-axis unit, which is different than our current servo-driven six-axis units that you'll see today. But by 1969, we actually had this unit in full production, and we were using it, as Kawasaki likes to do, to make our stuff. So <laughs> this has been kind of the story of Kawasaki. And again, this isn't quite what you're going to see from some of the servo-driven, highly precise, and fast units today, but it did its job in the time. And it certainly has stood the test of time, as even this 55-year-old unit still works. What we're looking at here is the Kawasaki J-Series arc welding robot. One of the things that's interesting about this particular robot is that it was produced in 1997 and it was only removed from service about six months ago. It was running up until the very moment that they decided to take it out of service. Now certainly a lot of our robots have changed over the years. Uh, design aesthetics have gone away from some of the more blocky design that you see here to a lot more curvatures and clean lines. But the longevity of the robots is what has really stood the test of time. And I can personally attest to this particular one as I was there when they removed it from Kawasaki Motors in Lincoln, Nebraska, and it's still actually capable of being programmed and used. The controller runs off of a Tandy, if you can believe that or not, and that's how you program it. Um, and it's at our headquarters in Wixom, Michigan. All of that system still working the time we took it out. The only reason that Kawasaki Motors actually removed this was because the guy who programmed it finally retired, so we get to inherit it and put it in the Kawasaki Museum to endure the rest of time. We've kind of done a trip down memory lane earlier. It's kind of been a bit of a theme of this show to go back in time, and now we're going to look to the future. What I'm standing next to is kind of the next generation of our R-Series six-axis robots. These robots run from three kilograms to 80 kilograms, and this next generation boasts some new and promising features. So these particular robots are rated IP67 throughout the entire arm, wrist to base. You'll notice on most of these robots, you can even run off of a single separation harness instead of two. The new F-Series controller that these particular models run off of can almost be fit in a shoebox if you're using the F-60. We have a larger version that allows you to run some external axes and such, uh, but still boasts the most compact design in the industry. So for do-all jobs, just about everything in between painting up to welding to material handling and palletizing and anything else you can think of, the R-Series has you covered.